Okay, welcome to the tutorial of uh, how to get your own Instructor Canvas, uh, which is what you need in order to participate in our online trainings. So first of all, of course, you have to give us your email address. We prefer Gmail, but you can uh, always give your whatever email you have there. It's better in Gmail because uh, historically we have had no problems when the email addresses are in uh, Gmail. So what will happen is that you will receive an email from Instructure Canvas, just like this one. Now if you don't see it in your primary inbox, then probably it's in your spam. But as I said, in, in Gmail it doesn't happen. So just open the Instructure Canvas and then what you do is to get started. So again, if you click the Get Started, you'll be, you'll be brought here and all you have to do is to accept it. And then you'll be given this message which says you have been invited uh, for whatever the module is, in this case, the bookkeeping. And you just, you'll just just choose whether you already have the Canvas account. If it is the first time that you've heard about Canvas, then most probably you don't have a Canvas account. So just create your account. The login is already the email that you gave us. So you'll just have to put a strong password here. So I'm going to write the password that I used to register. Okay, so another thing that you have to take note is the time zone. We are plus 8 here in the Philippines. So just choose that. And then click I agree. Uh, you can uncheck the I want to receive information and then when you register uh, you're going to be brought to the module already right so this is how it will look like this is the this is the uh, the opening page and you'll see all the modules that you can participate in. Of course, you have to do all this. So in this case, we always do the modules chronologically. And you can't jump to module 2 without doing the prerequisite, which is the module 1. So you have to proceed uh, on each module. I mean, you will, you will uh, uh, more or less see what's uh, going on in each of the module like for example in this case this is a discussion this is a quiz another discussion another quiz another discussion and then there's a quiz and so on and then there are files here that are attached and so on so th those are the only things that you have to remember when when registering and opening your own canvas account of course, the most important thing here is, um, of course, your email address should be given to us. Secondly, your email address should be yours and you should know your password there because when you set your, your password for Canvas, it doesn't need to be your password in the email. But if you forget that, then there's no way to retrieve your, your Canvas Instructor account. So... Please make sure that you own the email that you're giving and that you have an access to it so that when you try to recall, for example, your password or whatever it is, then you can retrieve it using your email. So that's it. Thank you very much for participating in this instructional video. Bye.